<clears throat> so we're back and I'm going to talk about I don't know why that orange square comes up it's got to be something to do with it anyway we're going to talk about um, me respecting tonight as much as I love this build and it's so OP um, I lied last time I actually have used a madness build before and I didn't really like it very much but the idea this time around is to go to something that's not quite so uber now on the map <coughs> There's this little enclave of people who are insane and there's a guy called Fike and I'd have to recheck all the story again but <coughs> this little enclave up here in the world um, they're all insane and Fike and Shabiri I think they're linked somehow I can't remember exactly but um, I went up there and cleaned out the little village of people they're all anarchists and they basically want to destroy everything and burn the world down and Anyway, that's sort of a summary of it, but look, in my inventory... I've killed this fight guy twice, once in the first game and once in the second game. Let me just find that weapon. It's actually a spear. And you will not see it anywhere on any sort of, you know, oh, this is the best weapon in the game type lists. Because it's got one or two fairly large problems, which I guess is, you know, where is it? I guess that's what we're kind of looking for. Where are you? There they are. Bikes War Spear. Causes madness buildup. You can see down there in the passive effects. It has fire attack, it's got a flimsy flame thrust. It's a spear. It's a great spear, so it's a very big spear, and I've got two of them, so I can do a thing called power stance and using one in the right hand and one in the left hand. Generally when you do that, only the um, special ability called Frenzy Flame will go off on the one on the right hand, unless you swap hands around. You can then have two different things and two different arms. And, uh, and this being a legendary weapon, it doesn't have that little box thing up here, so you can't change the actual weapon ash. This one's got a frenzy flame thrust which is unique to this weapon so there's a couple of things wrong with the spear one of the, the frenzy flame thrust whilst really being powerful and doing tons of damage has a long time to build up and um, can be interrupted pretty easily so it's hard to use and the other thing about spears is they tend to be stabby stabby one hit, hit, hit things that only hit one thing unless you can get the frenzy flame thrust off they cause madness build up um, in the end, the person I'm hitting, <laughs> which is a tricky thing to deal with, they need, I need 16 um, strength, 20 dex, and 8 of 18 to use it. Now, <coughs> so let's travel over to Renata, who I've already killed. <coughs> Up here in the Ray of Lucarian Library. I'll go and say hello to her. She's the one that respects you when you've got a larval tear, which I showed you in the last video, and I do have one. Now, when you respect, you got to be careful <coughs> to get it right. So, I think what I'm going to do is open up a notepad <coughs> of some type. I hope this is coming up in the video. I'm sure it is. File. Uh, open. No, I don't want to open. I just want a new one. Oh, uh, new tab. Okay, so the stats are strength, dex, faith, um, arcane, intellect. Uh, what am I forgetting? Mind. Let's go back. So. Vigor, Mind, Endurance, Dex, Faith, Arcane, Vigor, and Endurance. So, uh, first letter of each thing. Now, if you're going to respect, you got to take everything off. So I'm going to strip it down. You're doing this because you need to make sure that you're going to have adequate stats to use 
all the things you're going to equip her with. Because if you don't, you're going to have a big red cross through something and you won't be able to do it and you won't be able to respect because you've only got one larval tier and it'll be a really annoying thing. So you've got to be really careful. Alright, so we'll get rid of all of her weapons and everything. She's going to be naked as the day she was born, except for her underwear. Woot woo. Anyway. She is going to be using Faith, obviously, because those are Faith spells. Don't need to worry about the arrows and all this stuff. Alright, there she is. In her underwear. Now, let's put the weapons in first. She's going to be using the Vike War Spear, because it's madness. It's one of the only madness weapons in the game. So we're focusing on a madness build. Where is it? There. One of them, I've, as you can see, I have used a pure scales. Quite, it's a dex, mainly dex scaling weapon, but it scales with strength C dex, D strength, and D faith, and it does fire damage. So we'll put that one in the primary hand. It's going to warn me I can't use it. I'll put the other one in the secondary hand. I'm going to try a power stance. And obviously you can't. Whoops, not that. Um, you can't power stance something if. Only one, you only get one of them in the first playthrough on the first play, playthroughs. So that's when your game plus comes in, you can get the same weapon again, and then you can power stance and have one on each hand. Uh, where are we? There it is. Yes, and it's warning me I can't use it. It's got a red cross there, I can't use it. It's got, I need to have at least a strength of 16. So let's go and put strength 16. <coughs> it needs to have a dex of 20. Dex 20. Okay. So that's what we need so far. Oh, and it needs a faith of 18. It's a faith 18. Okay. What else are we going to use? Um, spells. Which spells are we going to use? Let's load up the spells. Look at all the madness spells we've got in there. Yeah. Alright, so let's get rid of all these bloody things. We don't need them. No, 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 no. We'll start again. We're going to have. They're going to be incantations. They're going to be offensive ones. I'll rearrange them later. That needs 16. That needs. Whoops. That needs 31 faith. That needs 22 faith, that needs 33 faith, that needs 21. So the biggest thing here is 33 faith. So let's go back and up the faith to 33, at least 33. The thing is, if the weapon, I think it was a dex weapon, wasn't it? So we're going to use all those spells. They're all the madness spells. We've got a madness, a madness spear. The other, so I'm going to, It's she's going to be a... An insane priest. <laughs> Priestess, basically. Um, so let's get out of here. What else are we going to use? What else would insane priest use? They'd probably have a fire torch of some kind. Um, that's a, probably about it. So you're not really having to max out anything too much. As it's a C dex thing and a D faith and a D strength, I don't really care about strength, but okay, that'll do for starters. That's what, that's what we're going to do. So let's go and talk to Renala. Thou, is it thy wish to yet again be born anew? Yes, it is, Renala. I can change the way, um, Renata lets me change the way the, uh, Nell looks as well, but we'll know, but that's not what I'm interested today. Yes, we're going to use the larval tear and we're going to rebirth. Bear this sweeting into life anew. Renala's a bit of a, frowned upon by everyone else. She's a bit of an upstart, as it turns out. She's done a lot of things that aren't frowned upon. But the sorcerers don't like the fact that she's a moony priest and the moons plays a big deal in this game and you know I won't spoil everything 
Alrighty, so we said we needed 33 faith. So let's put that in there to start with. Which is actually less than I had already. We need to have... It's a... Gee whiz. The only difference is it's... Let's get the next most important stat then. And that's strength of 16. God, we nearly had it, you know. We only need two more. Wow. That's... Uh, I've done it now. Oh, well, okay, well, strength 16. And what was the other thing? Dex of something like 20 or something, wasn't it? Dex of 20. And now, we, as we're going to... You can see the weapon attack power scaling as we scale on the right there. It's going to scale mostly with Dex. Okay. It's going to be our main weapon. We probably want to max out Dex again, which is going back to exactly what we had before, almost. And you can see the weapon's damage scaling nicely over here as I do that. Do we go the minimum required amount of strength? And then... Since we're going to be using faith-based spells... Let's at least get it up to 40. Um, you need to have big as your health bar and you nearly always you want to survive and be able to not die you need to have you know at least 60 bigger always um, that gives you 1900 hit points which is pretty good now mind that's your spells and your special ability on your blades the more of that you can have the better as well I think I had a pretty healthy bar before and endurance is how heavy your armor you want to wear. I don't think strength matters too much. Might, yeah, screw it. So I've got another 18 to spend. Right, let's get endurance up. Endurance, the difference between how much the stuff you're wearing and how big your endurance is, is you know, the different, you know, how, whether you're light, medium or heavy with armor. So I've lost two endurance. Basically all I've done with that Martel tier is move two points from endurance to strength. Uh, oh my god. What a waste. Alright, confirm. Yes. Alright, now. If I've done this right... I can now use those weapons. Yes, I can. Now the thing is too, it's only plus five and plus nothing. So I need to spend quite a lot of money on leveling them up getting them to be high high enough but now let's complete the rest of this build one of the things that's going to be happening is she's going to be going insane all the time so i need to have some kind of protection against going insane or i need to be able to use insanity to my own benefit somehow i've got to remember <laughs> Raises tech power when the wearer suffers from madness. A black dumpling mask. That, that's probably perfect. It's that's a zero focus. Oh my god. So basically, that is saying uh, you're deliberately going to go insane yourself. And when you do. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot more damage. <gasps> How fascinating. Okay, I've never used that before. <laughs> How gorgeous can you be? <laughs> Alright. Yay, what else can I use? It's got madness related. Um, oops. That one. What else in here is madness related? Not Lord, yeah. madness. Not that rotten grey keep cloak, blue silver mail armor, black knife armor. 
Uh, what gear am I going to use? It's starting to get really heavy, not all knowing. I don't think any of this stuff's to do with madness. Going insane, or oh, we need to get something that's actually going to help me. Well, we want to go insane. We actually want to go insane with this build. So what are we going to use here? That does jump attacks. Nobles, Travelling Guard, they're insane. Um, nomadic Merchants, Finery. Oh, Merchants? <gasps> Here we go. That These Merchants once thrived in the Great Caravan after being accused of heretical beliefs. Their entire clan was rounded up and buried alive, and that's where they... Then they chanced the Curse of Despair and summoned the Flame of Frenzy. So they were the ones who created the Flame of Frenzy and the whole madness thing. They, it was the merchants, and if you have a look at the merchants up close, you'll see they all have orange eyes, which means they're all insane. Perfect. Okay, what else? Actually, let's have a look at that. I wonder if it's... It's in theme. But what does it do stats wise? It's run of the mill, quite not shaman furs. This one. Really good focus, which is gonna make it harder for me to go inside. Really quite good magic fire, lightning holy, good immunity, not so good robustness, bugger all poise. Head fits anyway, that's what I'm gonna use as part of the thing. Okay, what else? What was that stuff called? Nomadic merchants. Okay. The merchants are all insane in this game. So I need to find nomadic merchants gloves. There I am. Not Melenias. Clean rot. Nomadic merchants. I think. Golden Lord. Claim. Are there such things? Do I have them? Gauntlets. Do I have nomadic merchants? Travellers. I would have thought it would be a part of a set. Throw copper, maybe not. On gauntlets. Doesn't look like I've got them. Eccentric. Hmm. Yeah, no, nah, doesn't look like I got him. Don't worry about the gloves later. What about all important pants? Prophet spell blade, snow witch, sage, finger maiden, which is what I was just wearing. Battle mage. Mushroom legs, travelers. Maybe I might have to just go travelers, guardians, astrologers. There's near the shaman stuff. Sanguine, godskin, shaman, travelers. Deperm per de depraved perfumer trousers. No matter there they are. Nomadic merchant trousers. Great look for a woman, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, now gloves. It was near the, the shaman stuff. Do I have shaman gloves? It's furry type things. Killer. I don't have shaman gloves. Anything to any travelers, I guess. Noble warriors, war surgeons, confessors, omen killer, champion, vulgar, high omen. And we'll just go travelers. No perfume, perfumer. Mm. 
Well, not the perfume, they're the ones that throw uh, disruptors, astrologers. Can't believe I don't have travellers' bloody the merchant gloves. I'm going to have a light load again here with this. Maybe I should get something really heavy. Fire pre light. That bunched me up to medium load. Oh, that's probably good to have a light load. Let's go down a bit. So light load cuts off around about there. Twin gauntlets. Hmm. I'll have to go back and farm those. Omen killer, Godskin apostle. Oh, bad. Godskin noble. Perfumer gloves. Preceptors, Albrechts, Queens. Ah, travelling maiden gloves. Travelling maiden. Whatever, that'll do. There she is, Nell the Gorgeous. Oh, look at that black bloody cloak. It's all multicoloured. Very pretty. Alright. Now. For these things. My talismans. What am I going to do with the talismans? Well, greatly raises focus. Do I want to go insane or do I not want to go insane? That's the question. If I do go insane, I'll take a lot of damage. But I'll do a lot of damage. Enhances counterattacks and you need to thrusting weapons. Chains, greatly rounds potency, and yes, definitely want that. Okay, what else do we want? Shorten spell casting time. Enhances charged spells and skills. She's light again, and it raises attack power lower equipment load. She's light loaded. A bit of a no brainer. Don't really care about equipment load. This counter attacks you enhances counter attacks and used to throw you need to. Let's give that a go, because it is a spear. And... And the last one. Mage, lightning, holy. It's not really holy. Bruce dodge rolling. Reduces damage taken from critical hits. Gives me more poise. Successive attacks restore hit points. Poisoning or rot. Dexterity raises attack power with successive attacks. Raises attack power with successive attacks. Conceal wearer, blood loss vicinity. Don't care about blood loss. Don't care about getting my mana back particularly overly much. Don't care really about my defense. Intense to charge spells and skills. Greatly boosted attack power of skills. Uh, let's try that. Okay. As for ranged weapons or other weapons, uh, don't care. Why do I have zero rooms? Uh, 
Uh, I died just before you guys talked to me last night. I died. Where was I? Down here in the castle. Got to get my runes back because I need to spend money on getting. Oh god, this is gonna be fun with those zero level weapons. Ha <laughs> ha. And I suppose I should look, have a look at what other spells I'm going to use. Always good. If you're going to... You always want to alleviate build-up of poison and scarlet rot. Uh, what else? Can't use that. Alleviates death blight build-up. These ones are all good because... Greatly enhances holy damage negation. Not that I use them. Greatly enhances magic damage negation. Lightning resistance. Where's the fire one? Oh, don't have, do I not have the fire one? Greatly increases fire damage negation. Okay. That'll do. So I gotta get up there. Now it used to be a nightmare getting across this bridge, but luckily I've cleared it all in a previous playthrough. Where did I die? Let's take the shortcut. Yeah, I wanna travel. All it does is zings me across the bridge, I think, or does it take me right into the It takes me all the way in there. I don't, I haven't been in here yet, I don't really want to go out there, let's go back to the other place again. Just a shortcut, basically. Let's run up there. Now I don't have really any... Ah, I know what else I need. If I'm going to cast bloody incantations, I need to have something to cast them with in my hands. Not a, not a tree seal, just scales purely with faith, strength and faith, intelligence and faith, strength and faith, strength and faith, arcane and faith, strength and faith, strength and faith. Let's just go that one. And a tree seal. Alright. So what's up? How's my attack look? So I can do a big stabby stabby, a right click. And if I keep doing it, it's going to be doing lots of damage against one thing. Single target attacks. It's my power attack. It's a swipe. Power attack. And if I left... Yeah, it's all about big damage to one single target, huh? Interesting. And the... It's a... And you can see that set me insane. See the orange bar there? Okay, well I'm going to have to go and get my um, runes back. And these weapons are very, very low, so I need to get the runes back so I can level them up. And the other thing... How am I going to hit these guys up there? What? That one. Now, can I charge that? I probably can. He's still alive. Hitting the ladder. Ah, come on, get him. I might need to get a bow here. Let's kill these guys. all that much damage, is it? That one isn't. Killed him. And I've nearly used all my... I'm gonna die if he keeps hitting me with that crossbow. Get him! Alright, that's them both dead. Let's get my mana back. If you hold the downward arrow, it jumps to the first thing that you have in your belt. Which is always the healing flask. And then the next thing down is your next flask, which is a mana fast. 
Now, these other spells. Howl of Shabriri. Gotta love how when you kill things they fall off stuff in this game. Nah. Horn's just gone off so that all the guys here now know I'm here. All the humans do. Ah, uh, didn't really... See if I, even as I hit them, they get like an insanity, but then so do I. The orange glow around me means I'm going insane as well. This could be, let's try this inescapable fusey, fusey, frenzy. I'm gonna die here. Uh, and I just lost all my runes. Oh my god. Okay, I'm stopping. You dick, I just lost 400,000 runes. <laughs> Alright, time to stop the video. <laughs>